بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کور دا سی آئی سی ڈی پروسیس اینڈ فار دیٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈپلائی دا اے ڈبلیو ایس کوڈ پائپ لائن اینڈ تھرو کوڈ پائپ لائن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو آٹومیٹکلی ٹریگر آور اپلیکیشن ڈپلائڈ ان ای سی ایس کلسٹر سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ سو دس ویڈیو مائٹ بی uh little long or i might be i divide this uh cicd process into two three videos but uh, believe me if you watch these videos till end your concepts with regard to the automatic triggering and uh, triggering of your application is going to be very clear and in this video also i'm going to cover that uh, whether your image lives in docker hub or in ecr which is the elastic container registry so from that you can even trigger your application uh, by not even accessing the aws for instance uh, if you have a repository in github or bitbucket what you are going to do is to do a single commit and from that particular commit that particular uh, image is going to build uh, from outside the aws and pushed into the ecr and from that your deployment is going to be done so uh, you don't even have to access the aws architecture or uh, aws console so um, you give the developers just repository whenever the image is updated he's going to commit to the repository and every uh time is to the command the trigger is going to be work and automated deployment is going to be uh, done with regard to the new version so um, i've already created a repository uh, in the aws code pipeline um, i mean uh, in the bit bucket with regard to the aws code pipeline so uh, in this we have built uh, bit bucket pipeline yaml file so i have to show you that uh, in this part what i'm going to do is to simply cover that um, basic stuff for instance if your image lives in the docker hub how you can uh, trigger the automatic uh, deployment of your ecs cluster so currently we don't have any ecs uh, cluster ready so for that uh, automated deployment of our ecs cluster and deployment what i'm going to do um, is to navigate to the terraform version 13 which uh, i have already provided you i'm going to download this repository and in this repository i have uploaded the code pipeline uh, this is the what it uh, it is going to do is to uh, is actually create the custom vpc and in that custom vpc we are going to uh, deploy uh, our application in ecs cluster and um, it is going to deploy it automatically and uh, let me show you that image it is going to pull uh, from the docker hub is this one um, let me show you okay this is the one which uh, image we which we are going to pull so uh, let's start um, what i have done for you guys is already downloaded this repository and from this repository i have downloaded this so what i'm going to do is to simply uh, open my git bash and i'm going to navigate into this particular uh, directory and for this uh, you just have to you know make sure that you have a terraform cli installed all this uh, all that stuff is pretty easy actually so i'm going to navigate into this directory simply do cd and simply drag this directory to your console or function bash so uh, what i'm going to do is to navigate to the environment dev so i'm going to do the terraform in it what it is going to do is uh, download the relevant modules in that particular directory and let me show you that what we are going to do uh, this is the main tf file so as i told you that uh, it is going to deploy the custom apc in us east one and um, these are the security groups i'm not going to go much details with regard to the application deployment in ecs cluster 
but I'm going to, to give you a basic idea that what uh, we are going to um, and deploy in this video. So uh, later on, I'm going to cover the relevant stuff in my later videos. So um, ALB is going to be deployed, which is the application load balancer. And I will show you that uh, the URL of the, or the endpoint or DNS name of the application load balancer in the URL. So we are going to, um, deploy the one is this cluster and that is this cluster we have a task definition so for the task definition and the service definition all this stuff is already there so not uh, uh, much details I'm going to show you uh, you can you um, use the AWS console to even deploy the application but for the sake of uh, you know this video what I'm going to do is to I mean I'm going to use this uh, for the quick deployment uh, Terraform modules. So uh, that is it. I mean, um, also it is going to um, do stuff in the CloudWatch logs. So anyway, what I'm going to do uh, is to do now Terraform apply. So. Uh, both repositories are publicly available. You can download these uh, repositories and use this repository. So what I'm currently doing, um, it is actually, I'm deploying the relevant uh, architecture, which I've told you. So if I navigate to the AWS console, you will see that uh, custom VPC and elastic container service so you will see shortly that uh, we will have a you know VPC and ETS cluster up and running. Now, so I'm going to navigate to the EC2 section, and in that particular EC2 section, you will see the application load balancer endpoint in a few moments. So the application is not that all uh, big, but the thing is that your concepts uh, is going to be really clear. So if I open this uh, load balancer. Once it is available, I will show you the endpoint that what we are going to, um, what we have deployed, how we can update this uh, particular application. And I will show you all that particular stuff from the um, CICD process. So it is currently provisioning. If you navigate to the ECS uh, section, if you navigate to the ECS cluster. So uh, once the application load balancer is provisioned then it is going to uh, set up the ECS cluster so I'm using the dependencies in my Terraform module so it is uh, currently deploying the stuff for us so once it's done I will show you that what we have deployed and how we can use the CSCD process if our uh, image is in the docker hub and later on in my videos uh, I'm going to cover the uh, image pulled from ECR, which is the uh, private uh, hosted container registry provided by AWS. So let it deploy. It is in the, still in the provisioning state. Now it is active. And um, if I navigate to the ECS uh, cluster section, refresh it. So it is uh, still creating. So we have to wait for a while. So as I told you, if I do it manually, it is going to be a lot of stuff uh, that we are going to do for our uh, you know, deployment. So we have to wait for a while. Let's uh, let the container start. So if I navigate to the task definition, you see this is the task definition. I have set up AWS code pipeline. If I click it, you will see that uh, we are going to use one container here and in that particular container uh, we are the pulling same image uh, as i shown you from the my docker hub uh, public uh, docker image so uh, let me just drag it down this is the image we are pulling and the container name is the aws code pipeline if i 
navigate to the services section uh, you see now our cluster is now ready and if I click on a cluster uh, you see uh, desired uh, is 3 and currently 0 running so as far as the setup of task definition everything is set up so what I'm going to do uh, is to copy the URL although services are not available so you see because the services are not available I'm waiting for the services to be up and running so let it refresh and you see it running is zero and this is using the same task definition so we have to wait for a while refresh it you see all up and running simply refresh it and you will see our application shortly that it is going to be up and running so this is the, our application and what I'm going to do uh, is to show you the um, health status uh, also in the target group. So uh, in this video, I've just shown you that uh, how you can uh, for learning purpose or you can use in your dev and prod environment the Terraform for the deployment as well. So this is the application. Um, we are using so ECS. Uh, this is the target name Path Blue. I'm uh, giving this name. So if you navigate to the target uh, section, uh, okay, slash Path Blue. Uh, target is not going to be healthy. Yeah, because uh, I have to update this target, and I'm going to update now. Okay, so because the I, I forget to update this uh, path section so uh, let me just update all the stuff for you and show you how it is going to be healthy so this is the important part with regard to the uh, health status that I should uh, show you guys that uh, what is going to be the health of your application so let me update the stuff and I will show you that uh, Although I will be providing you all the stuff updated in the repository GitHub, I will update that. But in this uh, health, you should be able to know that it is going to look for the index.html in the uh, slash section. So there is no path blue there. Okay. Let me update that and I will be back with you guys in a moment. So guys what I've done that I have updated the path uh, which I forget to update in my core so everything is now healthy if I navigate to the my ELB everything is working fine although uh, this section was not healthy as far as the health checks are concerned so uh, what I've done I've updated the rule path in application load balancer Although I've done changes in my Terraform code uh, with regard to this section and there, and I've uh, I've done not done anything manually. So if I navigate to the uh, target group, uh, let it refresh. So you see, um, previously it was showing slash uh, path blue and all that stuff. So you have to just refresh it and everything is going to be you know, shown on what I've done in changes in my code. So uh, now what I'm going to do uh, is to show you guys uh, the process of the CICD, how we are going to update our application from the AWS code pipeline, but that video, uh, but this video is getting longer. So uh, that particular part is going to be the part of our next video. So if you will like the video, please like share and subscribe and channel and please like uh, Hit the like, like button and I also look for the next video which in which I'm going to show you the AWS uh, Code pipeline to trigger automatically uh, our deployment of ECS so uh, stay tuned uh, till Next video is going to be sooner. Thank you. Have a nice day.